Good morning. Uh, today I wanted to go over a completely revamped sources and resources section that we put together on the website only pvcpyramids.com. Uh, we've been gathering a lot of uh, new sources of information over the last few months and uh, it was time to do a complete overhaul of the <clears throat> information that's available uh, on uh, Russian PVCs, the extensive amount of literature that's out there. It's a little bit hard to find at first and so uh, I wanted to go over uh, because we've now compiled a, the vast majority of it into uh, a single location on our website. I wanted to go over those sources. Uh, I know some of you are visual learners, some of you learn to uh, like to read more. Uh, so we've got a little bit for everyone here now and I uh, wanted to kind of go over that with you and uh, you can use this as a guide to uh, begin your journey on uh, research on Russian pyramids. I'm going to be putting up uh, a couple of slides. These are coming directly. Uh, they're screenshots off of the uh, uh, resources page that we now have on the website. So as we begin, you're going to see here the first uh, source. I've talked about this a few, uh, few weeks ago. We at long last found the um, uh, website of uh, Dr. Golod, and that's uh, pyramids.ru. I think you'll find it's best to, um, to use this uh, in conjunction with Google Chrome because Google will allow uh, you to, uh, to translate um, the um, information from Russian into English very easily. And on that site, they have a summary of the research that they've done and also uh, some new research that's being done. There's some information about a brand new, even bigger pyramid that Dr. Golod's trying to get um, uh, financed uh, to replace the uh, pyramid that recently uh, blew over in a storm. Uh, but the uh, new, new um, pyramid's going to be about 100 meters, 300 feet in height, so quite an extensive um, uh, opportunity for further investigation that they're taking on there uh, in Russia. But uh, anyway, the website does contain a variety of information about the uh, uh, research um, that's been done. And most importantly for us, it, it confirms the um, geometry that we've talked about recently, the uh, height to base uh, ratio of 2.02. Uh, .02. All of that information is available there on the website. <clears throat> We'd suggest that you go and check that out. And uh, there's a lot of good information there. On the next page, we, we're going to start to go over some of the books that are available. Uh, there's a lot of information once you know where to find it, and uh, we've put together a pretty extensive list. Not completely comprehensive, but this is a great beginning uh, of uh, information that uh, is available out there for you. The first book, and it's a free one, is from um, uh, David Wilcock. Uh, for those of you who are familiar with David, his uh, website is called DivineCosmos.com and in fact the book that uh, explores pyramids and torsion fields uh, and really is the fundamental explanation, probably the best uh, explanation that I have found on torsion fields and pyramids is the book Divine Cosmos and it's available as a free book. Uh, you can read it on, um, on the website. It gives a great summary of uh, torsion field uh, research and uh, pyramid research, both from uh, uh, Kozarev and uh, Akimov. Both uh, are uh, featured extensively in this book, as are a lot of the um, cutting-edge uh, theories as to why uh, pyramids uh, do what they do. Uh, and this is really fundamentally due to their ability to uh, create torsion. Uh, there's information in the book on why pyramids are good torsion field generators. And most importantly, the book also goes over the topic of um, phi generators uh, being the best uh, torsion uh, field generators. The next book is uh, the Complete Pyramid Source Book. It was written by John DeSalvo a little over 10 years ago. This was actually the first book, although it's primarily uh, deals with the Giza Pyramid. 
It was the first book in the West to, to really introduce the uh, Russian pyramids that Dr. Golod uh, was building and, and researching at the time and uh, goes into the uh, Russian and Ukrainian uh, pyramid research uh, in some detail in a whole section, uh, section two of the book. Some of the other books that might be of interest to you uh, all include the, the Patrick Flanagan books. The, the original book, Pyramid Power, uh, by Dr. Flanagan is the classic in the 1970s that brought awareness of uh, pyramids to the West and the United States. Uh, a more recent book in that series, which I highly recommend, is The uh, Healing Power of Pyramids. Uh, it was written actually by Joseph Marcello, who's been uh, editing the work of Dr. Flanagan uh, for a number of years. And this book has a lot of information about Russian pyramid research. Some of it is extracted from the Wis uh, Divine Cosmos book uh, from David Wilcock uh, and other sources but it, again, is a tremendous resource on Russian pyramids. On the next page, um, other books by Dr. Flanagan, uh, Pyramid Power II, The Scientific Evidence, and Beyond Pyramid uh, Power are both additional books by Dr. Flanagan going back into the uh, 70s that, that explore the experiments that he did during that period of time uh, demonstrating the uh, the power of um, pyramids in Pyramid Power Two. There's a special section where he did some research on uh, meditation, which may be of interest to uh, those of you who are meditators and interested in the power of pyramids and meditation. Uh, the Source Field Investigations, another book by David Wilcock. This was uh, one of his first books uh, that was published, a New York Times bestseller. Uh, it had a ch an entire chapter, uh, I believe it's chapter 8, on uh, Russian uh, pyramid research. And uh, this helped to propel interest uh, with the uh, current generation of uh, folks into uh, uh, Russian pyramid technology and research. Two other books uh, of interest, again from the 70s, uh, that came out a little bit, uh, you know, about the same time as, as Dr. Flanagan's work, probably a little bit later, a few years later, The Secret Power of Pyramids and the Psychic Power of Pyramids by uh, Bill Shule and Ed Pettit. Uh, both of these volumes contain tremendous information on pyramids, uh, their power, some of the experiments that they did and that others had done. So uh, two great volumes for uh, finding out information uh, about the history and uh, uh, the longevity of the study of uh, pyramids in contemporary uh, uh, in the contemporary world. Finally, in the book section is a book called Pyramids: Legacy of the Gods. Uh, Valery Uvarov is another Russian uh, who has taken up a, a tremendous interest in um, uh, pyramids. And this book uh, is, is uh, a history of uh, Uvarov's research. He's, he's done quite a few uh, trips around the world. He's scoured the world for information about pyramids because he knows that there is information uh, to be gleaned, and he's looking for every possible piece of information about pyramids that he can find. So I haven't finished this book yet, but I'm, uh, I'm about uh, 50 pages into it. It's got a tremendous history of pyramids, uh, history of the universe, uh, why pyramids work. Uh, I can't wait to finish it, but I would recommend it uh, highly for those of you who are interested in more of a, of a historical context uh, of the history of pyramids. The next uh, article up is about torsion fields. For those of you who maybe don't want to delve into the entire Divine Cosmos book uh, to learn about torsion fields, and you might want to check out David Wilcox's article uh, on Nikolai Kozarev, uh, Ether, Time, and Torsion, which is on his website. It's a great summary of the material that's found in David Wilcox's book, Divine Cosmos. And then finally, for the visual uh, learners in the group, uh, myself included, probably the uh, 
the place where I most got interested in um, pyramids was watching the wisdom teaching series that David Wilcock did on Gaia TV back in 2016. Uh, I've got down there the episodes that you specifically want to watch, episodes 157 through 162, and again 180 through 184. Uh, these are, in my view, the best source of video information out there on pyramids, Russian pyramids in, in particular, and how they work. And um, this is available only uh, by subscription. Gaia.com is a subscription service, but it only costs you 99 cents to join for the first month under one of their options. And that would certainly give you enough time to watch these. And um, I would certainly uh, highly recommend that you uh, continue uh, your subscription if you uh, so desire. Uh, there's tons of good information on torsion fields and other research of uh, David Wilcock and others uh, regarding the topics uh, relevant to pyramids on that uh, channel. And then separately, uh, Valery Varov, in uh, one of his rare uh, lectures that's been done in English, uh, he does a, about an hour and a half talk on pyramid energy. He does another excellent uh, review of the Russian pyramid research, gives you uh, a historical perspective on uh, pyramids, and also talks about a complex of pyramids that he is building in Siberia uh, in the city of Tomsk, T-O-M-S-K, and uh, he talks about that at the end of the, uh, of the uh, video. Also very, very good reading. Uh, finally, for the, for the mathematicians uh, in the group, uh, I put on a pyramid calculator. I use this extensively in uh, figuring out uh, the geometry that I uh, have forgotten since high school. I was pretty good and on my SATs, almost got an 800, but I've forgotten all of the geometry I think that I've learned. So I have uh, uh, really relied on this pyramid calculator to help me out in figuring out uh, angles, ratios, and the like. So um, use that uh, as another source for you as well. We're going to keep uh, updating this information as time goes on, but use this as a resource. And uh, there is plenty of information now out there for you. For those of you who are interested, check out these sources and you'll see that uh, these Russian pyramids are uh, the most thoroughly researched and scientifically studied uh, geometry of pyramids on the planet. Hope this is helpful. Uh, remember to uh, like us on um, YouTube and subscribe to our channel. Uh, it helps us to improve our uh, uh, viewership and tell your friends who are interested in pyramids to do the same. Have a great day. Hope this was helpful.